how do you find the chords of a song? How do you find the chords of a song? How, how do you know that um, uh, for this song, this is the chord I'm supposed to play at this point, at this point or the other? So, um, a song we understand is made from chord progressions. Uh, a song is simply uh, a number of chord progressions that have been put together. Now, uh, the complexity of the chord progression varies depending on the song. There are songs which have uh, simple chord progressions, but there are songs which have a little bit more advanced chord progressions. So you have to understand that you may not be able to play every song at the beginning level. Uh, there are songs which you may be able to play, some which may have some sections which are a little bit more advanced that you may not be able to pick up. So the basic uh, chords you understand in a song are one, four, one, five. Uh, maybe sometimes a song may go to the six or to the two or to the three. Okay? So, first step is um, try your best to master the sound of each chord. Let me put it that way. So that, just start with the left. Master the sound of each chord, each position. So for example, if just in your ear, if this is one, how will chord five sound? Now this is ear training. This is now where you are training your ear. If this is do, what is chord number five? Do, re, mi, fa, so, do, re, mi, fa, so, so, so. See, that's your five. Huh? So use that solfa. Use the solfa to help you know how each position sounds. Okay? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So what is six? La, la, la. So, do, re, mi, fa, so, la. What is three? Mi, do, re, mi, mi, mi. So the three is mi. Now, if uh, you should also be able to hum the, the do, which is the root, okay? Where the key is beginning at, okay? You should be able to hum it when you are given a different note. For example, if you are given the six, la, so, la. So if somebody gives you la, you should be able to tell where the do is, which is the key of the song, okay? Because the la is just the six. You want to go back to the one or the eight because that is where the key of the song is. So, la, so that is la, ti, do. So the do, the key of the song is do, la, ti, do. So if you are given the do, you should be able to find all the, the sounds of all the other chords. Eh? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. If you are given the so, so, you should be able to find the do, okay? So, so, so in your mind you are like, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So, 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 la, ti, do. So if I'm given so, I should know where the do is. So la ti do and where is re mi fa so mi re do now that that 
peer training is very, very important because it is what will help you to listen to a song and be able to tell what note or where is the melody of the song moving to. Okay? Where is the melody of the song moving to? So like that song I, we were going through, bow down and worship him. Okay? Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Oh, worship him. So the first thing that you do when you want to find the chords, you must first know where the melody is at. Okay? First identify the key of the song. If you don't identify the key, you cannot find the chords. That's obvious, huh? So you have to first find the key. If you are playing in one key, F sharp, I told I, I think in the in the previous lesson about how to transpose, I showed you how you can find the tune of the song and find where the do is, the one. That is the key of the song. Then how you can now transpose it back to F sharp, plus or minus, okay? So how, first after you identify the key of the song, now you want to identify the melody of the song. Bow down and worship him. What is the melody? Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Oh, worship him. Okay? Or if I use simple, simple Sunday school song. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. You see, being able just to play that melody comfortably on the piano without even practicing the way I've done it. Eh? It's not something I've practiced. But because in my mind, I know the sound of each note. Eh? Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, so. So, mi, so, la, do. So, mi, so, la, do. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. So you see how I'm, I'm using that solfa to help me find the melody of the song. And that melody of the song is what will guide me now to move to the next stage of finding the chords. So I said step one, you have to find the correct key. Okay? Transpose it to F sharp if that's where you're playing. And then... Find the melody of the song. After you find the melody of the song, now you can try to figure out what chords are being played in this song. Okay? What chords are being played? And when you are doing that, when you are listening to a song, just practice this with uh, a song, with, 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 with some music. Huh? Just pick some songs, huh? recorded music, play try to find the key of the song. On your piano, you do this with very many songs. Eh? Find the key, then try play the melody of that song on the scale, okay? After that, now try to ask yourself, when you listen to the music, there are two instruments that usually will guide you to know the chords that are being played in a song. The first one is the bass guitarist and the second one is the keyboard player. Most importantly, the bass guitarist, okay? The piano player will always lean on the bass guitarist. If you ask me the most important uh, instruments in a, in, a, in a song, I would list the drums, then the bass, then these other instruments can follow, uh, you know, the piano, guitar, what? but those two instruments are very important because the drum will give you the rhythm of the song, the style, how you are going to approach your chords. If it's reggae, so depending on the style, the drama is the one who is going to tell you how are you going to play that song. 
For example, if it is one, six, four, five. So one, F sharp, six, four, five. One, six, four, five. So the drummer will tell me, that is how I'm supposed to pump the chords because it's a reggae style. And the bass guitarist now will tell the keyboardist the progression of the song. So for example, that progression one, dun, tararan, six, tararan, four, tararan, five. So that is the best guitarist following the drum and out. So the bass guitarist is walking along the notes, but the basic progression is what? Turn one, turn six, turn four, turn five. F sharp, D sharp minor, B major, C major, one. So the keyboardist now knows that is the progression I'm supposed to follow, okay? So what I'm doing is the bass guitarist. So no matter what the bass guitarist is doing, walking up and down, the pianist just wants to find out what is the basic progression. It is pam, 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 so no matter what the bass guitarist is doing, the keyboardist has already found out the progression by listening to the bass guitarist. And now the keyboardist knows what chords he's supposed to play. Now, the keyboardist, after finding out the progression of the song, the keyboardist is now free to be more creative. Okay? He can also now begin throwing in uh, different chord inversions. I know you asked me a question about chord inversions. You can now begin throwing in inversions, uh, try to follow the melody sometimes, you know, apply some passing chords, okay? So for example, that progression, one, six, four, five. So maybe the best guitarist is playing that. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, the pianist now on the one. So the, 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 the pianist now wants to follow the bass player. So he can play the one. see he is still in that progression but he is now getting creative with his own chords so so one because he knows the progression is from dun, dun. so he plays so f sharp c sharp d sharp so he uses that c sharp major as a passing chord okay so bam, bam, bam. So by the time the bass guitarist is on six, he is also on six, okay? After passing through that C-sharp, so. And then he knows the, the next chord after the six is the four. So he passes through six, five, then to the four, which is B major. D-sharp minor, C-sharp major, B. And then. 
The next chord after four is five, but he plays passing chords, two passing chords, B major, F sharp, then to the C sharp. The next chord is one. He plays one, five, one. So. So I don't know if you see how the keyboardist is getting the ideas from the bass guitarist, okay? So you need to be creative enough to be able to uh, listen to what the bass guitarist is playing. And then that is now what will guide you to know what, you're, what chords you're supposed to follow along with. Now... Something else I want to mention, this is a very uh, wide uh, area to look at, but I'm giving you ideas that can just help uh, kick you off. Huh? When you listen to a song, listen to the bass guitarist and the keyboardist. You'll realize many times there is a, there is use of a lot of slash chords. What do we mean by slash chords? Huh? Uh, if you check out the F sharp intermediate course, you'll find the topic about slash chords. It is where... The, the chord that the keyboardist is playing on the right hand is different from what the bass guitarist is playing on the left hand. So you have to be very careful for those instances. So listen to the bass guitarist. For example, that song, Bow down and worship him. Okay? So the bass guitarist is playing D, D sharp, F, and F sharp, but the keyboardist might decide to play Bow down. For the D sharp, the keyboardist is playing a B, which is a four. So that's a slash chord. It's called a four over six. Bow down and worship. Then for the seven chord, the keyboardist is not playing F diminished, but playing a five. Worship. Okay. And then sometimes, for example, oh. Worship him, oh, worship him. So you see that point? Oh, worship him. At this point, the keyboardist is playing a five, but the bass guitarist is already playing a four. So the keyboardist will play the left hand following along what the bass guitarist is playing so that the notes are not clashing with the bass guitarist. But on the right hand, he might be using some slash chords, okay? So you have to be very careful. Train yourself just to listen. There are points in a song where you hear the bass guitarist is playing a different number from what the keyboardist is playing. That is the freedom of the keyboardist because he knows the progression and he knows how he's going to follow along and still be in line with the bass guitarist. So this is something that you really have to practice by listening. Let, let me play this song. Huh? That's a practical example here. Um, and as just to mention that this is not something very easy for you to get when you're starting off. So don't be discouraged if you realize you cannot listen to every song and find the chords of every song because it is not easy. There are songs which are very complicated, even for me, up to this the stage I'm at. There are songs which I really have to spend quite some time before I can figure out what was the music trying to, to play, what, was, what is the interpretation of the chords. So start with the simpler songs, huh? simpler songs. Let me play this song. Huh? So just listen to it. Huh? First of all, the key of this song. It's on D, okay? So I'll transpose it to F sharp. So let me transpose it to F sharp so that you can see the notes. So you'll follow my fingers because the MIDI keyboard will move to D, okay? So this is um, one, two, Minus one, two, three, four. Minus four, one, two, three, four. So I'm now in D, but I've transposed it to F sharp. Huh? Okay. So refer to the lesson that we talked about how to transpose. Huh? So 
listen to the keyboard and the bass guitarist, eh? and also listen to the melody of the song. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. So. So. This year I'm interpreting the chords, the five. So when I listen to the song, the bass guitarist is already playing the one, but the melody of the song is telling me to first hit this note. So I'll play first the B, then to the F sharp, then to your name. Melody, to your name. So what are the chords? F sharp, look at the top note. F sharp, C sharp, B. To then two. So two, the bass is on two, the right hand is on four. F sharp, bring, then C sharp. My, my sacrifice. You see, my son. The left is still on five, but the right is playing one because of the melody. My son. Five, five, one. And I finish with this one, this inversion, because the melody is here. So do you see how the melody is guiding me to know the kind of chords that I play? The bass guitarist is guiding me to know what note will I play on my left hand. So remember the left hand should always be following the bass guitarist. The right hand is following the melody and then also bringing in the chords. Very important point. Huh? So, listen to this. The melody. Want you take note to what the bass guitarist and the keyboardist are doing, okay? So that you know the keyboardist is guiding you on your right hand chords, the bass guitarist is telling you what you should be playing on your left hand. Then two, three, four. Five. One. Okay. See, the best, the best guitar is playing the same. See how I'm, I'm I'm listening to the bass, and where the bass moves is where my chords will go to. Okay, so. 
Ding, 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 so, so. So, by the notes the bass guitarist is playing, I judge what chords am I supposed to be following with the bass guitarist, okay? So, as I said, this is not something easy. I'm not saying this is easy because there's a lot of ear training that has to come in. So, be patient with it. Just listen to many songs. Listen to a large number of songs. Huh? And then... Try to listen to the bass guitarist, then train your ears to get the solfa. So one, two, three, So as you train your ear to know, this is the sound of a five chord. If this is the one, this is the five. Da, what is the five? Do, re, mi, fa, so. Mm. So that's the chord, five. Mm, two. So when I, I can be able to relate the, 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 those sounds, I, I know each chord, in each position, this is the chord I'm supposed to play. And I can be able to listen to the song and using the solfa to know this is where the bass guitarist is. So I'm supposed to follow him with this particular chord. Okay? Do that practice with many songs, with many songs. Eh? And with the time you realize that you can be able to listen to a song and know, okay, he is playing a two, now he has moved to the five because you can relate the sound in your mind. I know this is how a six sounds. This is how a five sounds. According to the, the solfa. So the solfa is very important. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's why every music class usually begins with the solfa. Because the musician has to learn to relate the sound of each position of each scale. Okay. You must know the one is do, the three is mi, the five is so, and that is actually what a chord is. Do, mi, so. One, three, five. Two, four, six. That's the two chord. So you need also train your ears with those chords. Be able to pick out those solfas. So practice that with, that with many songs, and uh, with time you'll be able to easily tell uh, the key of the song, and then also the chords that are being applied in that song.